Hello, my name's Charlene and I'm down here at the Etches Collection with Steve, who has a very large fossil collection. But could you tell me more about this one here? Well, that's the first ray ever found from the Upper Jurassic in Britain. That was collected probably about 20 years ago. You can see it sort of, there's a crack down through the middle. It came out in about two or three bits. Big mistake made with this because, as I say, as I started cleaning, it, mm -hmm. I started from this end, gradually got up there and realised that you can see those shaded areas on those peripheries yeah. there. Mm -hmm. Well, that's where I actually cut through the pectoral fins. So I didn't realise actually it was a ray. I thought it was originally just a fish. Yeah. And I'd give it a wide berth when I cut it out. And I didn't give it a wide enough berth. But basically what we've got is the eyes here. Can you see the mm -hmm. eyes here? Yeah. And this line that follows along there is the shagreen. That's the skin that's still preserved with these little denticles. Okay. Yeah. Got some stomach contents. Okay. So and there's still bits in the stomach there from... Yeah, from feed or whatever. But when it was described, the lady came over from America to describe this, got quite excited. This is really impressive because it's dorsally preserved. In other words, you're looking down on the top of it. Mm -hmm. Normally, from the ones in Sonhof, and they're also preserved ventrally, upside down. Why? Oh, we don't know. Okay. So they've seen some different aspects on this that are different to what has been found before. Complete new species. Um, I forget the name of it, anyhow. Mm -hmm. To complement that, because this is a female... She's got no clasp of okay. fins, okay. Oh, is that how you tell the difference? Yeah, right. there's no clasp of fins mm -hmm. normally. You know, the males, so this is just part of a, another race, similar to that, same species, but you can see those two cross saws there. Can you see those appendages yeah. there? They are actually the clasp of fins, so the oh. first clasp of fins seen on that, okay. Mm -hmm. Really interesting because you see those crenulations, those sort of rough areas. Yeah. And when this lady came over, she'd already seen the photographs of this, but she thought it's this crushing effect. She realised when she came, it's not. And on the end of that, you see this, there's some little pads, some little light-coloured pads. Mm -hmm. Well, that's where the, the, so the sperm comes down that, that sort of clasp of fin on a groove there onto those little pads. They're inserted in the cloaca of the female to fertilise the female. Oh, so okay. it's, although it's just a partial find and it's just fell out of a cliff, is an isolated item, it's really interesting, the first one we've ever seen of this particular species of ring. Oh, wow. So, yeah, it's a yeah. really interesting specimen. That's all we've got for you today from the Etches Collection. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more and hopefully we'll see you next time.